In the very first video you saw how to make a drone transmitter. Then in the second video series you saw how it is possible to create a flight control system. Finally this is the third video series and I believe you are very excited to watch this video. So your wait is over and in this series we will create a beautiful body for my drone and finally we will fly this drone. So without wasting any more time let's build a drone body. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB and EasyEDA and I have been using EasyEDA for the last 5 years to make my PCB. In the same way today's drone PCB I made in EasyEDA software and with that even you can order your PCB at JLCPCB from EasyEDA. The JLCPCB has came up with an excellent offer for you. First time any user register on JLCPCB website you will get a free coupon of $18. This is really awesome right? Other hand you will also receive free coupon every month on SMT order. So without wasting any more time, grab this wonderful offer by visiting the JLCPC website. Link is in the description box. Since I am using 4000 KB Moto here, so that is why I want my drone body to be strong enough. And at the same time the body should be light enough. That is why I will try to make a beautiful 3D model of my drone. And it took me about 3 days to 4 days to make it. You will get the steel file in the description box like you always get. Ok you can see these are the 3D printed body that I made. This is the bottom part in which my flat control system will sit. And these are the four hands in which the ESC and motor will be mount. And which will fit just like that with my main body. And hopefully you can see my hand is different color. There are a special reason for the different color. What's the end of this video to find out why. See every hand has support material. Now I will take out the support material from the frame so that I can put my ESC. Here I am using 1000 kb motor. I would highly recommend you not use this type of motor because such motor do not have good accuracy and after then I will fit the motor into the main frame and fasten it tightly with knots. In exactly the same way here I decide to use 30 ampere ESC and each of which must be framed. I will insert the ESC into the frame with double side tape. After then I will connect the connection of each motor with ESC and with that I will not forget to connect the PWM signal cable with my ESC which will go to my flat control system to rotate my motor properly and in the same way I will make 4 hands. Ok you can see finally this is my flight control and receiver output that I made in my previous video. If you want to know more about this flight control system then I would highly request you watch my previous video. If you watch my previous video you will get all the correct information about this video. And if you want you can also make this with Arduino. But if you want to make a professional board like me then I highly recommend you to order this PCB at JLCPCB. And definitely you will find this PCB cover file in the description box. So order now without wasting any more time. Ok now this time I will solder all the positive and negative wire of the motor with my flight controller system. And lastly I will solder the wire of the battery's X60 connector to the board to connect my battery. And with that I will then place my flight control board in the main frame of my drone. Then I will pull the wire of the each motor out of the cage so that I can connect it with the hand. After then I will put my hand on the nut in the main frame. After then I fasten it tightly with bolt. Here I will use double bolts. Because I don't want to open my bolt in vibration of my motor. Then I will associate positive and negative wire with my ESC. In the same way I will mount forehand in the frame. And finally I will connect the ESC signal cable to my multi board. So that each motor can receive the correct signal from the flight control board. After attaching all the hand to the frame it will look something like that. Next I will use another lid on the top to secure all the circuit board. And with that here I am going to use 2.4 LiPo battery as my drone. And here you can see this is my homemade lithium battery. You can understand after a while what will happen if it fly in the sky. Next I will mount all the propeller on the top of the motor. And here I am going to use 1045 propeller here. Of which of 2 is counterclockwise, another 2 is clockwise. Ok you can see our propeller is installed. So definitely this time is for flying right. But before flying we go back a while. Very first I made it with aluminium. I have not been able to fly it properly for several days and I was almost disappointed. Then I saw a video on YouTube of electronics project channel who made a complete Arduino based drone and he was able to fly pretty stable. Then I saw a light hoof and I realized it was really possible to fly through multi and I calibrated pitch rollia in very better way and in the end I was able to fly quite stable and so definitely when I realized that everything was correct. So definitely I modified the drone and made it with 3D paint. And after a lot of lifting my drone signal was stuck. As a result the drone went out of control and definitely broke down due to the falling from height of 70 feet. 
but i don't lose hope then i try to continue and with that i revealed the broken hand and that video you are watching now due to which my hand are different color okay now we will see that it is the number three test okay let's see how the drone will fly in the sky and in the first test i try to fly and you can see i am failed then i try again and i am failed and i am failed i am failed 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 many many failed but i don't give up i try to understand why i was falling again and again the first reason the receiver is receiving the signal from my transmitter about 500 millisecond delay the second reason if you look closely you will see that my motor shaft is a little bit curved that is why i said earlier don't use this type of motor and with that i broke a lot of propeller while flying the drone so i don't have same company propeller and for so long i have been using propeller from different companies to fly my drone and that's not quite right and with that i don't dare to use lipo battery here to until my drone is stable because my transmitter is not right my propeller is not right my motor is also not right so guys i have to stop this video here because i don't have all equipment in this lockdown so in the future video i will definitely rebuild a multi -way drone and hopefully that will be enough stable okay friends this was today's short video if you don't like this video you can definitely dislike it and if you like this video you can subscribe my channel see you in the next video stay well and stay healthy